Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and have the top stories we are tracking for you on Monday, the 18th of December. Ruckus continues in the Indian Parliament over security breach incident. Activist highlights rights violation in Sindh, Balochistan and POK. And Bangladesh PM slams BNP says can't win people's heart through terrorism. And now for all the details, ruckus continued in the Indian Parliament on Monday as opposition lawmakers demanded discussion and statement from Home Minister Amit Shah over the Parliament security breach incident. Expressing his anguish over the repeated disruptions, Speaker Om Birla said that it is unfortunate the matter is being politicised. He said sloganeering is against the dignity of the House as he requested for cooperation to hold discussions on important issues. A total of 33 opposition members, including Congress leader Adiranjan Chaudhary, were suspended on Monday for unruly conduct. Look, the leader of the Gair Rajanetik Dal, the leader of लोक सभा में और राज्य सभा में वो कोई सूरत चांद सितारे तो मांग नहीं रहे वो तो सरकार को बस इतना कह रहे हैं कि एक देश की सबसे सुरक्षित इमारत पे हमला हो जाता है एक प्रकार से उसकी सुरक्षा में इतनी बड़ी चूक हो जाती है तो परमात्मा का शुक्र है कोई जान का नुकसान नहीं हुआ वो भी हो सकता था जब इतनी बड़ी चूक हो गई तो उसकी जांच रिपोर्ट सदन के भीतर रखें और जिम्मेदार लोग जो उस सुरक्षा के लिए जिनकी जिम्मेदारी बनती है वो आकर सदन के भीतर अपना जवाब दर्ज कराएं और एक छोटी सी चर्चा हो जिसमें सर अपने विचार रखें लेकिन कमाल की बात है कि संसद की सुरक्षा की बात सदन में ही नहीं हो रही तो कहाँ होगी the incident which occurred last week on 22nd anniversary of the attack on the old parliament building saw a man jumping into the lower house chamber while another shouted slogans and set off a smoke canister. Both were caught by lawmakers and the security personnel. So far, police have arrested six people in connection with the breach and further investigation is underway. And a cold wave gripped New Delhi and parts of India's national capital region with minimum temperature being reported as 6.8 degrees Celsius on Monday morning. People were seen sitting around bonfires to keep themselves warm. Residents on their routine morning walks said they were taking extra precautions by wearing warm and multi-layers of clothing and eating healthy. They have started stepping out to walk late in the mornings when it is warmer. The India Meteorological Department has said while there is no cold wave situation, a weather change is expected in northwest India due to the western disturbance in the Himalayan region, which is receiving heavy snowfall since this past weekend. Moving on, prominent activist Arif Ajakia has raised concern over the ongoing situation in Sindh, Balochistan and POK where people are facing Pakistani atrocities and subjugation of their basic rights. A report. Renowned rights activist Arif Ajakia has flagged concern over subjugation of rights of people in Sindh, Balochistan and POK calling Pakistan an exploiter. He particularly highlighted the forced conversion of girls from minority communities in Sindh and blamed Islamabad has deliberately denied civic amenities to the people in the region, while thousands of Baloch people have been extrajudicially killed and disappeared for voicing their concerns in Balochistan. Ethnic and religious minorities in Sindh and Balochistan are a special target of Pakistan's terrorist army, Punjabi army, and uh, coming to the Balochistan, there are thousands of missing persons in Balochistan, uh, extrajudicial killing, uh, involuntary di disappearance, uh, inhuman behavior, torture is common practice in Pakistan. Uh, people get missed. He further said the people of Pakistan occupied Kashmir are also fed up of zero development in the region, while Islamabad continues to exploit their resources. There has been a massive outrage in the occupied region recently. So there are protests across POK and uh, every district, uh, Ravla Court, Muzaffarabad, Neelam, uh, uh, Mirpur, 
دے آر پروٹیسٹنگ بیکاز دے کین سی دیٹ دا سیم کشمیریز ان انڈیا آر پروسپیرس گیٹنگ بیٹر ایجوکیشن گیٹنگ بیٹر سیوک فیسلٹیز بٹ ان پی او کے آل دیز آر ناٹ پرووائڈیڈ اینڈ منتھس آفٹر پاکستان اناؤنسمنٹ آف آل ان لیگل امیگرینٹس ٹو لیو دا کنٹری اور فیس ڈپوٹیشن اراؤنڈ فور لاکھ تھرٹی فائیو تھاؤزینڈ ون ہنڈریڈ اینڈ ففٹی ٹو ان لیگل افغانس ہیو ریٹرن ٹو افغانستان اکارڈنگ ٹو دا پاکستان گورمنٹ اسلام آباد از ایکٹیولی فیسلیٹیٹنگ دا ریپیٹریشن پروسیس فار ان لیگل افغانس ایٹ دی تورکھم اینڈ چمن بارڈرس مین وائل مینی ریپیٹریٹڈ امیگرینٹس ہیو کنویڈ دیٹ دے فائنڈ دیم سیلوز ان چیلنجنگ سرکمسٹینسز Pakistan has accused Afghan nationals for carrying out attacks in the country which Afghanistan's Taliban regime has denied and said that militancy is an internal matter for Islamabad while calling on a halt on deportation. Pakistan has not entertained calls by international organizations to reconsider the deportation plans. Moving on, the United Nations Assistance Mission in Afghanistan in its latest report has stated that the Taliban has been sending hundreds of women who have survived abuse to prison, claiming it will protect them from gender-based violence. Taliban, which has mostly removed women from public spaces, has also closed 23 state-sponsored protection centers, which offered refuge to victims of gender-based violence and helped them recover. The report said that officials from the Taliban regime told the UN mission that there was no such need for shelters. The Taliban has not revealed the conditions under which they are being held and what measures are being taken to protect them. These women also include protesters who have stood up against the regime's harsh policies towards them. Afghanistan under Taliban control is the only country in the world which does not allow girls and women to go to school, colleges, universities and workplaces. In a veiled attack on the opposition BNP party, Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has said that they cannot win people's hearts through arson attacks and killing them. Speaking during an event, Hasina asserted that the BNP is aware that people would not vote for arson terrorists and killers and therefore wants to foil the election and overthrow the government. The opposition parties have also so far observed blockades in the 11th phase to mount pressure on Hasina's party to quit power and hold the next election under a non-partisan administration. The BNP has announced to boycott the January 2024 election, which clearly indicates Hasina's Awami League will gain an upper hand and likely form government for a fourth consecutive term. Hundreds of Hindu devotees from across India attended a procession of Lord Ram's wedding in the holy town of Ayodhya on Sunday. The day when Lord Ram tied the nuptial knot with his wife Sita is marked as Viva Panchami. The devotees danced to the tunes of drums and traditional instruments as a procession was carried out to celebrate the occasion. A grand Hindu temple is also set to be inaugurated in Ayodhya in January, believed to be the birthplace of Lord Ram. Officials expect about 4.5 million tourists a month, more than Ayodhya's entire population of 3.5 million, once the first stage of Ram Mandir opens on 22nd of January. पहले से ही भक्तों में बड़ी उत्साह की लहर है कि हम राम जी के विवाह महोत्सव में चल करके भगवान का मंदिर देखें कि कितना बन चुका कितना बाकी है इस लालसा से बड़ी संख्या में लोग अयोध्या जी आ रहे हैं और आने वाले हैं ब्रेकिंग न्यूज एंड व्यूज फ्रॉम इंडिया 